Bora TV. The world is thinking. You, you're asking, well, you answered partly the question, but for, for you, understanding the brain, what does it exactly mean, if, I, if, it, if there is anything like an exactly here? Yeah, um, right, it's, there's different levels of understanding. So it may be that a giant simulation can can quack like a duck and walk like a duck and talk like a duck. But it's often the case that we can make a copy of something bef before A, we understand why it works. You can, you can recreate something and it takes maybe generations to figure out why any of that is true. And then there's this deeper question of, uh, of private subjective experience and whether that will ever somehow come out of the physical pieces and parts. And I think that's just it's a different level of understanding. That, that we might not have the capacity to wrap our head around, right? We've evolved to, uh, to operate at a particular spatio-temporal scale. So we care about, you know, apples and rabbits and mates and rivers and things like that. And that's the spatio-temporal scale that we operate on. And what we already know is that when we look at the fabric of the very small atoms and subatoms, um, uh, the physics there is such that we cannot understand it. It is impossible. In fact, Niels Bohr answered this question about quantum mechanics. Someone said, but wait, if your model is right about quantum physics, that means we won't ever understand that, what it's actually like to be down there. And he said, you just have to change what you mean by understand. Because it's too weird for our little brains to wrap around. And same with the, the scales of the very big. As Pascal said, um, you know, man is engulfed um, in, you know, we're essentially on this little strip in between the infinitely small and the infinitely large. And we're, we're trapped on this little tiny strip that we can see. Well, I, mean, I think I'm much more pragmatic to that. I think that we have to see, you know, otherwise we can speculate forever whether that is the case or not. And I think that when we come to theories, uh, people, I often get the criticism that, you know, you cannot understand this just by building these pieces without really knowing how the whole brain is working, without a theory of the brain. And once you have a theory of the brain, you should be able to go in and start reconstructing that. And that sounds very reasonable, but in fact, you know, a theory is based on facts. And the problem, I think, about why we do not have a theory is because we just do not have the facts. We have, even though the, a lot of it is out there, we haven't put them together. We haven't actually assembled the facts in order to begin even seeing what a theory could look like. So I think a, a, an absolutely essential step is to start putting these pieces together. And then, when it comes to what is it possibly going to look like, I think that w one of the magical things about the brain that is different from a, a computer, for example, is that it is not only... A computer does a calculation, and then you do visualization. And we see the same problem when we're trying to make supercomputers interactive. We want to make them do simula simulation, visualization, analysis at the same time. That's what the brain does. The brain is visualizing what it's computing. So this is a visualization. At the same time, it's a computation. And uh, I'm, I'm, uh, this is happening, for me, it looks like it's happening outside, you know, unless Pink Floyd was right. But this was definitely happening outside. And, uh, but it's not. It's happening in my head. But I project it out there. So how do I get the correspondence between all this electrical stuff inside and then suddenly this magical picture. So there is, a, there is the challenges and what we have to address start to become clearer and clearer when you start to actually put this together. So I agree with David that the, the challenges, you know, what a theory could look like is just not, not, it doesn't seem to be anywhere near the horizon. But I think that it's not going to be on the horizon if we don't put the pieces together, the facts together, to begin constructing a theory.